Oh my, okay. I'm actually gonna vomit. What is going on? <laughs> what game do I wanna play? Brawlhalla? No. Doom? Too spooky. Polybridge? Too spooky. Soviet jump game? That's the kind of game that you'd stream on like Tuesdays, maybe Thursday nights at seven, Mountain Standard Time on Twitch TV. I gotta find a new game. B2. What the heck is this game? Okay. Is 34 my frame rate? Whoa, okay. What the heck is going on? What B has a huge tongue? His, is that his tongue sticking out? Is that something I just don't understand about bees? What is the red thing on a bee? There's no red thing on a bee, so that's his tongue. He's a doofy bee. He's a doofy looking bee. You can roll. And, okay, I guess you fly forward by holding the mouse. Oh my god, I'm gonna be bee sick. I'm gonna be bee sick. God, please, no, no, no! Oh my, okay, I'm actually gonna vomit. What is going on? <laughs> okay, clearly I broke it somehow, so I just restarted it to see if maybe I can get a little further. Okay, so Forward goes forward, left and right. Okay, that part is conventional. I think I almost understand how he works. So the left click puts it into this weird cinematic mode. Do you think they just added the tongue so that they could use the tag cute on Steam? I took the time to fly over to this planet to see what it was all about and it's nothing. And and when your ear is to the planet, you can't hear the music. Okay. Let's give this one more shot. There's clearly something I'm not understanding. Let's try going into one of these little buildings and see what happens. It seems like the only way to go up and down is to like yaw him to one side and then turn down. You get stuck in situations like this where you're nauseatingly stuck to the- Oh, now I'm in the side of a shipping container. Oh, there's a the music again, thank god. So, like, the, the reviews for this must be brutal. B2 is online only multiplayer. B2 is the successor to B. This is a fucking sequel? This game is a sequel! B2 is a successor to B in a different setting which is manageable to synchronize over the internet. The server part is in early access and not guaranteed to be available or working all the time. System requirements, i5-9600, recommended i9-9900K, RTX 2060, estimated hardware requirements for 1080p average 60 FPS at 1B. So what, my computer would grind to a halt if I got my buddy in here? Okay, I have to look at a, a review or something. I sit in front of my computer, the screen lighting my face aglow. I patiently await Steam to launch and update my favorite games, and then I see it displayed before me. B2. I couldn't fathom what was right in front of my teared up eyes. I began to shake and cry, not out of sorrow, but of enchantment. It was finally here after years of waiting. I quickly hit the play button, and a whole new world opens up for me. The detail was breathtaking, the sunlight so bright that it blinds you, the grass so soft you could almost feel the individual blades, the calm buzz of my wings resonating peace within me. This was where I was meant to be. He couldn't resist sneaking a pun in there. I graciously fly to the ethereal tree and find friends among me. My lonely wilted heart began to heal its years of torment. I could taste freedom on my lips. There are no words that can describe the incomprehensible splendor of B2. The highly anticipated sequel to B. This game is a sequel! I urge you all to experience the kindness that the devs have bestowed upon the world. Seven people found this helpful. I guess some people found it funny because of that B pun. Do I recommend this game? Absolutely I do. Not only does it expand on the original's themes and central ideas, the game presents you with the thesis unique to the sequel as well. 
plus the ability to experience the adventure and grand discovery with friends thanks to the amazing matchmaking system makes the whole thing a very emotional experience. Easily game of the year 2020. What am I looking at? God is real. Simply put, God is real. Seven people found that helpful. Okay, so I finally found one negative review, but this guy has seven hours in the game. I, I gotta check out B. Oh my God, you can even adjust the controls in this one. Let's give it a shot. Okay, well this has grass. Uh, okay, it did have grass. Oh, I guess I, I select the grass. I don't even know what to say. Okay, I'm on the other side now. These controls are ridiculous. The trees are dancing to this absolute banger of a song. Exit experience. A plane in space, nearby an ice planet with an asteroid belt, colored corrugated iron homes around a central big tree and a bear growing, progressing anti-clockwise around it. You know what, I'll give it one more shot to impress me and We'll just, we'll just go from there. <gasps> a friend! There is a bear growing around it. I just thought that was some shitty translation. I think I... I think I get it now. The steel homes represent... everything we do to ourselves. And the single tree is us clinging on to nature. I come here to seek solitude, but also friendship. I get it now. I get it. I get it. This game taught me how to love. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw today, even a little bit, consider checking out one of my other videos. If you want to know when I'm going live, if you don't already, it's Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 Mountain Standard Time on Twitch TV. We typically play Soviet Jump Game. Come stop on by and see what we have to offer. If you haven't seen the stream, this is what you're missing. Is it even worth collecting the coins at this point? <laughs> What's going on over there? <laughs> okay, if you find it, I'll come kill the spider, but, um, I- just give me a minute. And also consider following me on Twitter and Instagram for more updates and spicy content.